Well, I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers and uh, also I'm very happy that uh, we haven't lost anybody over the time that we've been on YouTube. So uh, that's just great and uh, makes it a lot easier for me to uh, continue to post videos. Now today we're going to talk about something we've discussed a couple times in the past because there's been a continued interest, uh, there's still some confusion, and there are many questions because it's a very complex subject and that is the multi-carbohydrate leverage loading diet. Now the issue today is that people say I want to find a diet that will allow me to get big and then you have just the opposite where you have ladies who say I want to find a diet that will allow me to lose fat over a sustained period of time and I give both of these groups the multi-carbohydrate leverage loading diet and in some of these videos um, I'm talking about using it for both groups and, and they get confused and what I want to I want to unconfuse everybody about exactly what I mean exactly how that diet works for both groups now just as a reference point always remember that the average American eats 3750 calories a day and a lot of that's junk and that's why Americans are fat and out of shape. Now it's just a reference point to compare what we're about to talk about too. So now when bodybuilders want to get big, we have to be careful about what we mean by big, we use a multi-carbohydrate leverage loading diet. Now this is designed to gain lean muscle mass over a sustained period of time basically you never get off of it so it's not just big and bulky it's a slow accumulation of lean muscle mass so that you can maintain your your body at a lower percentage of body fat so when you do go to a competition you don't have to kill yourself trying to cut your body fat Now in review, the multi-carbohydrate leverage loading diet consists of eating two fibrous carbohydrates, two starchy carbohydrates, and a lean protein at every meal, and you're probably going to eat five to eight meals a day, spaced out every two to three hours. Three hours would be maximum. Now, if you're a bodybuilder that's trying to get big, and we have to be very careful when we say get big because we don't want bulk. We want to gain lean muscle tissue over a sustained period of time. That's what this diet is for when it's used for adding muscle tissue, gaining size, okay? Now the reason that you eat two starchy carbohydrates is because those are fast releasing and the, the two fibrous carbohydrates are slow releasing and the protein further slows down the release of these carbohydrates. Now why do we want to do this? Because these carbohydrates, this, they, they release insulin. They cause an insulin response. And insulin is anabolic. Insulin sends amino acids to the muscle cells. So why do we go a maximum of three hours between meals? Because that's when, after a meal, you only have three hours until your insulin response stops. So I wouldn't even go that long, maybe two and a half hours. As many meals as you can fit in, uh, in your waking hours, and you just take, say if it's 4,000 calories, you just you know, divide, if you've got six meals, divide 4,000 by six, and then you know, you've got four ounces of, of meat, and so you, you can figure out uh, how many calories would be in each one of those uh, servings of the carbohydrates. It's, it's not that hard to figure it out, it just takes time. Okay, you can find a calorie counting book or you can look it up on the internet on your phone. Okay, now for someone, a, a young lady that's trying to lose fat, we still use the same diet, 
but we start with a much lower calorie day. So uh, I would say still try to maintain as many meals as you can. And the reason we do that, in addition to this insulin release, for someone that's trying to lose weight, we're increasing what we call thermogenesis. And that means that when you're digesting food, you're burning calories, okay? So in addition to gaining the lean muscle mass, the lean muscle mass and the thermogenesis make you a fat burning machine 24 seven. So if you start at 1200 calories a day and you break that up you know, in six to eight meals, you want to watch the scale and look in the mirror and use your fat calipers, whatever's available. And when you start losing body fat, you've hit the right number. And when you stop losing body fat, you want to adjust that down. You don't have to adjust it down to 800. Just adjust it down to 1100 from 1200. And just gradually feel your way. You're going to need as much as you can get as far as uh, protein and carbohydrates to maintain your workouts. So it's, it's a very fine line and uh, you just have to be very patient because you don't want to lose uh, too much fat uh, too fast because you really don't lose fat that fast. You tend to lose, if you're losing very quickly, you tend to lose muscle tissue, which you don't dare lose, and water. That's what these crash diets do. They cause people to lose muscle tissue and water. They're looking at the scale and they think they're just losing fat, but they're losing things that they need. So I, I thought it was important to uh, go back and create another video on the uh, multi-carbohydrate leverage loading diet because there was this confusion about, well, how can this work for somebody that's gaining mass and also for somebody that's trying to lose weight? Well, this is how. It's, it's just a, a matter of where you start with the calories, which direction you're going in, increasing or decreasing. So it's, it's very simple. And again, the key is the insulin, insulin release because both groups want to gain lean muscle because muscle burns fat. Okay. And the thermogenesis keeps the body fat low on both groups. Okay. And, uh, it's just, it's just one of the, it's probably the most sound diet that's ever been developed. And I'm not sure if it was John Perillo or Negrita Jade. I think they've both taken credit for this diet. Um, it was originally given to me uh, from Mark Banter, who trained under John Perillo. And I trust Mark Banter 100%. And uh, I know he, he, he trained with... Uh, uh, many of the great the great bodybuilders of the early 90s and was very much on the inside of the sport and this is the diet that he used and he was just fantastic Mr. USA Mr. North America so I know the diet works and uh, uh, I stand behind it 100 percent